the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of tokyo revengers all right so last episode uh last episode was pretty slow right ain't nothing too, un- too crazy happened we got a glimpse of uh this valhalla gang that uh baji the first division captain or former first division captain of Tomen used to be where he's going valhalla where his other boy is who apparently was another founding member of Tomen back in the day okay they had a little fight club going on kind of fucked up that one of his initiation into the valhalla gang was to beat up one of his closest confidants um like to de- almost to death okay that's pretty messed up <laughs> like jesus christ but then again we know what happened a few episodes back when they pretty much you know uh raped and pillaged this dude's family so this show can get pretty dark i'm aware okay so they did that had the little fight club and now we are getting into the backstory of uh, the, the 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 toman founders okay there were six there were six of them and um apparently some some drama happened as to the reason why one of the founders is where he is today totally against mikey it seemed like uh when he was talking about killing mikey he seemed very serious about it so uh, it made me think like you know we praise mikey and draken so much right now but we don't really know their past or what they're all about you know they probably weren't this uh much of a great uh leaders as they are now they probably had to go through some shit they probably had to make some mistakes and learn some you know trials and tribulations you know what i'm saying so um now we're getting to the backstory which i am very interested i love backstories when it comes to animes and shit i think it definitely shapes uh the anime a lot better it makes me understand these characters better and of course um if if these characters were to ever you know something bad happened to them uh we are more attached because we know their backstories and everything's about right it gets us more in tune to the story more immersed and um i mean that that's what makes for uh, a good anime you know what i mean so that's where we are so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it this is tokyo revengers episode 16 before we hop into the episode of course if y'all want early access to these reactions you can go ahead and click that join button down below and become a member of the channel you know what i'm saying uh if you want early access to the full versions you can hit up my patreon link and of course last but not least if you want to join our community you can hit up our discord server which is also linked down below in the description all right other than that tokyo avengers 16 make sure y'all like and subscribe is that the same one he uses uh, in the future? That was the same like brand name, right? No oh, shit. どうするよ。やっちまう。いいね。あの人数なら瞬殺だろ。<laughs> why is the first instinct for Baji? Yo, you trying to murder them real quick? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? God damn. I wonder if the censored version is any different. Because that was per- that was fairly revealing for an anime, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, shit. What? That's a real ass friend. He, he didn't want Mikey's bike to get hurt. What the fuck? What the hell happened? Baji used to be so loyal to Mikey. He, he, first of all, he just front kicked a bike that probably weighs, you know, half his half his weight. Very impressive. <laughs> also, where's the boss music when you when we need it, huh? <laughs> Mikey's fighting style will never get old to me. 
I love that. I love them kicks, bro. Because honestly, we don't see it enough. You know? You know what I really want to watch? I need to watch a martial arts anime. Is there a good one out there? I know there's Baki. Um, but that's that, that's the only one I've heard of. Uh, I, I would 100% get into that shit, dude. I love MMA, boxing, you know, judo. I'm into that shit. I grew up watching kung fu movies. What was that? That felt very ominous. The them outside that kid's birthday party, like what? That was weird. I wonder what that was was that what that was supposed to symbolize or be a metaphor for, I don't know. Dude, these kids are crazy. They're over here stealing fucking motorcycles. I used to steal freaking cheeseburgers in the lunch line for a dollar. You know what I mean? Crazy ass kids. I used to steal fucking chocolate milk, bro, in those little small cartons. With the expiration date on top, y'all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that's the that that's that's the most that I stole, some candy. Not a damn motorcycle. Oh no. Shit. That's a normal thing. Some people live in their own shops to save money on rent. Mm-hmm. True, true. Hmm? Wait, who is that? Do we know him? Do we know him or not? I can't. I, I there's too many names, bro. Oh no. <gasps> Don't do it. Don't do it, bloodbath. Oh my god. He killed him. Why? That's bad. Oh no. Yeah. Fuck that. And we knew him too. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, it's bad. He dead. That was a headshot to the temple with a blunt weapon. He dead. Jesus. Bro, the only time where your first reaction should be to murder someone is if you're in a zombie apocalypse. I'm walking because I'm, I'm watching The Walking Dead right now. <laughs> okay. And I guess, you know, if someone's r r running up on you with a fucking gun or some shit, but bro. <sighs> He wasn't even threatening, and we, and we bopped him. But then again, I keep forgetting these are straight up middle school kids, you know. But still, Jesus. That's probably why Mikey liked that model so much because his fucking Oni Chan had it. <laughs> My god. Dude, <laughs> this show never fails to just shock me. Over some realistic stuff. This is definitely one of the more realistic animes I've watched. Besides the whole time travel thing. Everything else, the gang, the, the, the murder shit, the drama. That's just real, bro. Like, this type of shit is happening. <laughs> Her 
Nande? What the fuck? Oh no. He wild. No wonder they kicked his ass out. What the fuck is that logic? <laughs> it's it's Mikey's fault I killed him, not mine. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. Fuck. What the fuck, man? Just stupid mistakes, huh? My god. That was wild. What I'm most shocked about is his his mindset and his logic after the fact. What the fuck is Kazutora on? And what the real question is, why did Baji want to excuse me. Why does Baji want to join back with them? You know, if Baji knows that they basically murdered Mikey's older brother, what would make him want to leave and be disloyal to Mikey a few years later? There must have been some type of shit that happened recently in the future, right? What the hell? Wow. That sucks because they were they were trying to do a nice deed. Okay? They were trying to do something nice for their good friend their leader they wanted to get him his dream motorcycle okay the intention was good right man but oh, talk about wrong place wrong time what the fuck it was the wrong place because it was his older brother and it was the wrong time because he was there no dude <sighs> honestly i don't even know how mikey even kept baji in the gang because we're clear, we're definitely kicking out Kazutora. He's the one that murdered, and he still wants to murder for some reason. I don't even understand that logic. But the fact that he still kept Baji in the gang too, um, damn, that really shows like Mikey's. I don't know. I want to say like leadership in a way, or his matureness, because he was even younger here, but he still led Baji in with the gang. Even after that fucking incident. That's crazy. But I guess it's because Baji actually, he was crying. He was showing, you know, remorse uh, that he kind of aided in killing the older brother. So I guess that's because that that's why. All right. Um, dude, why? <laughs> His fucking first reaction to seeing someone fuck with their plan is to kill him? What the fuck, bro? Again, this is not the zombie apocalypse. He had a wrench in his hand. He's not threatening. This is a 2v1. This is not threatening at all. He's in his freaking jammy jams. And we, and we murder and we hit his temple with a fucking pl a pl huge pliers. Why, man? Oh, Jesus. Well, now we know the type of person Kasutora is. And what's, cr what's even crazier is his mindset has not changed. Because in the future, the previous episode, he still wants to kill Mikey. For what? Insane. Insane. All right, well, um, I like the backstory. Damn. See, now we, this is good. Now I'm definitely more in tune. I'm, I, I now know, like, the connection, right? Now uh, I don't see Baji as some murderous asshole in the future. I see him as someone who used to fuck with Mikey super heavy. He jumped in front of Mikey's, you know, little 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 bicycle. Uh, he got hit with a metal bat on purpose. You know, he, he used to fuck with Mikey super heavy, right? Um, and this whole fucking Mikey's older brother thing, too. So now... Um, now I'm wondering, man, does ba how deep does Baji's loyalty really stand for? You know, I don't know what happened as or as to, to the reason why he left, but maybe a, a part of me thinks that maybe Baji has some secret plan in his head to really, you know, get back for what he did with Kazutora to Maggie's older brother. Because that that is that is truly unforgivable. They killed his older brother. And that that old that that ledger will never be never be cleaned. You know what I mean? That that's awful, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck. Wrong place, wrong time, brother man. Jesus Christ. Well, solid episode. The drama. There was a lot of drama. 
I like the backstory. I love the backstories when it comes to animes, especially when it, when it's good, filled with shocking events, just like this one. Solid. Um, and uh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Kazutora is a crazy bitch. What the? F He's a... <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, um, that was a good episode. That was a good episode. That's going to be it for this reaction, though, guys. Uh, obviously, can't wait to watch the next episode because of what the fuck just happened. Um, hopefully, they go into the, into more of the backstory because I'm very interested, obviously. Um, and, uh, I mean, what do we do now, right? The the mission hasn't changed, though. We're, uh, obviously, the, the this backstory is a little sidetrack to, uh, you know, get us more in tune with the story. But the mission hasn't changed. We got to get Baji back and we got to get rid of this Kisaki guy, however which way possible. So... With that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, if you all want early access to the reactions that are already out, because I'm like five or six episodes ahead or some shit like that, you can go ahead and look at all the links down below in the description. You can click that join button, you know what I mean, for the early access. If you want early access to the full versions, you can hit on my Patreon. Uh, and of course, if you want to join our community, you can hit up our Discord server. All those links down below in the description. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I will see you guys for the next episode of Tokayo Revengers.